Hey folks, welcome to the Do It Yourself Dad channel. Welcome to Workbench Wednesdays. Today we are going to be talking about how not to blow up your house using one of these. Now Workbench Wednesday is a new series on the channel where we go out to the garage, out to the workbench, and we play around with tools. So sometimes we might be testing tools, doing tool reviews, antique tools, new tools, you name it. So if this stuff intrigues you, hit that subscribe button. I got a lot more stuff coming your way, but right now, let's get into that thing. And what this thing is, is this is a gas leak detector from Top Tees. This is actually my favorite gas leak detector. I'm going to show you why in just a second. But one of my most popular videos on the channel is how to hook up a gas stove and not blow up your house. And in that, I show you how to detect leaks. But this is a much more accurate and precise way to detect gas leaks. So what this thing does is it detects the presence of combustible gas in the air, and it'll give you a reading of how much gas is in the air. So right now in the garage, we're going to play around with a couple different combustible gases. Then we'll take it into the house. We'll show you some use scenarios, and you can decide if a tool like this is right for you. Now, this isn't just for stoves. This could be used for campers, for barbecues, for just about anything that's got a combustible gas in it, dryers, you name it. So we're going to try it with a few little items, and then we'll show it to you on the stove. Now this thing is powered by AAA batteries. They go right in the back there. And when you first open it up, you pull this thing out straight or straight enough and fire it up. It starts by warming this thing up, basically doing a calibration. So we're gonna let it do its calibration and then we're gonna expose this thing to some combustible gas. So with the beep, we know it's on and it actually has a couple different sensitivity settings. We're gonna start playing around with, it with the highest sensitivity setting. So you can go between them here Go into the highest mode. Now what I have here is a cigarette lighter. This thing is out of fuel. So when you give it a squeeze, it just lets off a tiny amount of gas. We're gonna let it just give a little shot right here. And you can see here it goes through the roof. Now like I said, this thing is pretty well empty. If I hold this little thing down, I can barely hear a little out of it and it's still going off. So with it empty, let's give it another shot a little further away. And you can see there even further away, just a tiny amount of gas coming out of one of these is enough to set it off. So now I want to do an actual real world test of this thing. And instead of using my big stove inside, which we'll go into in a second, I'm going to use my little stove. This is my backpacking stove. I've always suspected that this thing had a little bit of a leak to it, but I haven't been able to prove it. When I give it a sniff, I can't smell gas coming out of it. When I listen to it, I can't hear gas coming out of it. So on the highest setting, I'm going to see if this thing picks up anything, and that'll kind of answer my question once and for all. Do I need to replace or rebuild this thing? So let's screw it onto a cylinder, give it a shot. All right, so we're going to come in here and screw it onto the cylinder. And what is also nice about this is this is a different kind of gas than butane. This is not butane. So this is something totally different. So it's a different test than our lighter. So we've got this thing all the way on there. It's nice and tight. The gasket is cranked down and my valve is off. So we're going to start at a distance and we're going to work our way in with this and see if we get a reading. And you can see right there, it just shot right through the roof. So we know now that this thing does have a leak. I know now I have to replace that thing or I need to, let's get back down on it. There it goes again. So we know this thing is damaged or something wrong with it. I either need to rebuild it or replace it. So we've played around a little bit with this thing in the garage. Let's go in the house and I wanna show how you would use this thing if you were doing something like checking a stove, like you had that smell of gas going on in your house. So we're in the kitchen and there is that stove I was talking about before. That is a stove that I installed in one of our most popular videos. So if you are looking for a video on how to install a gas line, a stove, or any gas appliance, I will have a link for that thing down below. But right now I'm going to show you how you would use this thing to detect a gas leak. Now say for example you're in your kitchen and you think you smell gas and you want to figure out where the leak is coming from. That's where this thing comes into play. And also where this big long detector comes into play. A lot of the other detectors have a little short thing where it's right here on the end which doesn't allow you to get behind the stove if you're trying to figure out where the leak is. I'm going to show you how you would do that now. So in most cases with stoves like this, your attachment point is going to be behind the stove. So you can take your detector with the long little thing here and you can hook it over the top and run it right down behind your stove and get it back there and see if you've got a gas leak. And you can see here, because I did a good job in that other video, I clearly don't have a gas leak. But this would let you know if you have a gas leak coming from behind the stove, then you could pull the stove out and start tracking it down using that sensor. Now in other cases that gas smell could be coming from a burner that's been left on or a burner that's leaking. So I've turned on one of those 
and you can see there, I'm now getting a detection. Now, if I wanted to change the sensitivity to low, I could change it to low, and then I can inspect each burner here and figure out where my leak is coming from. You can see it's dropping over here. When I get over to this side, it starts going up. So I know now that my leak let me mute this thing. My leak is coming from that back corner. Now something to note also, it does have a mute button, which I just hit, so it doesn't keep bothering me during the video. So a gas leak detector isn't just a tool, it's really a safety item if you're gonna be working with gas lines, whether it's stoves and appliances or barbecues or trailers, it's more than just a tool. It's a safety item and these are not that expensive. If you wanna check out the cost of one of these, I will have the link down in the description below. Now, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Workbench Wednesdays. If you did, leave me a comment and let me know if you have any tools you'd like to see on Workbench Wednesday. And if you'd like to see more of these, please hit that subscribe button. It'll let you know when I come out with more of them. And of course, thanks for watching.